So my last video on this channel was called The Irony of Being Online. And, uh, you know, I thought it was very interesting a handful of hours after it had been uploaded. You know, it's gotten 21 views as of the time of this recording thus far. Whereas the last sort of uh, handful of videos I've put up over the last week or so, or week and a half, uh, are only garnering, you know, like 10 to 12 views per video. Uh, granted, they are mostly outtakes and such like that. But uh, that's the first video where the title is somewhat suggestive of uh, an alternate topic that I think people were perhaps uh, incorrectly assuming I would be talking about because there's some funky doings once again on these ye olde YouTube interwebs uh, to do with the rotten turnip. I've talked about them on this channel before and uh, I don't actually plan on talking at length about this because I've put this cat out of my life and I'm all the better for it and I can only wish that upon all of these, uh, you know, sort of acquaintances I have who are reacting to this guy's just, you know, bullshit, utter bullshit. Um, where this began for me was uh, about a week ago when I had somebody I'd never heard of before personal message me on Facebook, and then shortly thereafter they sent me a friend request. And uh, the personal message, there was no message of any kind, it was simply an article link. An article link, uh, you know, which reflected somewhat poorly, you could say, on an acquaintance um, who I also know through Facebook and YouTube, who had gotten into trouble, and, you know, we all make mistakes in life, and, uh, you know, I was wondering why exactly, what the impetus was behind this person that I never heard of before sending this to me. Lo and behold, I find out this person is uh, very in cahoots and, and well friendly with uh, the, you know, rotten turnip, as we'll continue to call him in this video. And um, coinciding with that, not too long thereafter, after I made a post uh, telling people, you know, I'm not going to be party to these kinds of bullshit games and to knock it off, otherwise you're going to get blocked, uh, this account on Facebook either disappeared or I was blocked by it, uh, but it's no longer accessible. And um, I still have, you know, the personal message in the files. I don't delete any messages I get uh, for, you know, the just-in-case purpose of having it for things like this, reasons like this. And uh, shortly after that, I stumbled across the Rotten Turnip's latest rant video, where he's calling, uh, once again, a former friend of his out and all this kind of stuff, saying he's being manipulated and he's being a real shit to him and, and name-calling and finger-pointing and accusations and yada, 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 yada. I'm the victim, I'm the victim, I'm the victim. And I really cannot have sympathy for the Rotten Turnip in this because in this very video, he mentions that he suspects this acquaintance, uh, you know, the party to whom this article was about and was sent to me about and everything like that, with malicious intent. Um, this Rotten Turnip mentions in that very video that, you know, this acquaintance better watch his step because he may not be around for too long because of his impending, uh, you know, to do with this particular record, if you will, this article. He's got something upcoming that uh, may put him in more trouble and that kind of thing. And it came across, at least to my mind, as something of a threat, um, which I found very conniving and, and just, you know, I've used the term emotional vampirism and manipulator and everything like that. And I'm sorry if you disagree with me, but that's what I'm seeing from this cat. I've seen this going back to before any of this shit even started, um, when it was just me and, and, you know, a small clique of people and he was involved and he was putting people off and pulling these kinds of schmoozy tricks. What is he doing now? He's going online and he's, you know, announcing to the world, uh, you know, in so many months time, I'm going to be potentially announcing that I may be leaving YouTube. I'm considering leaving YouTube and I'll have my official announcement to come turning all these people, his so-called disciples, if you will, into just kiss-ass, mindless, they're begging him to reconsider. They're begging him not to leave. This guy's not going anywhere. As long as he has mud to sling, as long as he has people to rein in and manipulate, he's not going anywhere. You don't have to worry about that. Um, this is the fuel for this guy's fire. This is what keeps him going. The impetus behind everything he does is to look like the victim, to go after people surreptitiously, have other people do his footwork and legwork for him, 
platform and try to bend people against the people he doesn't like. Um, you know, if somebody says something ill against him, oh, well, you don't see him directly respond. You see him respond on, under false uh, pretenses and, and false accounts and these kinds of things, and, or he has other people doing it for him. And I really can't be sympathetic towards somebody like that. Somebody who is having his entire audience for lunch and, and making him think, uh, you know, he's all innocent. He's all high and mighty. He's the honorable one. He's not going after nobody, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, no, in fact, the only person here who is going after people is you. The only people uh, being manipulated are the people who fall for your shit. And uh, I just feel bad. I really feel bad for the people who I consider friends and acquaintances who have to put up with this shit, uh, who keep having their names dragged through the mud and, and uh, you know, having this guy trying to use them toward his own ends and all this kind of stuff. And um, it just really kind of irks me and annoys me. And uh, I find it hilarious, though. I mean, I'm a spectator. I'm not involved at all. I'm not invested in this one way or the other. I've, you know, put myself at arm's length from this person. I, I've completely removed this person like a cancerous tumor from my life. And I can only suggest to those of you guys who are watching this video and knew by the title what I'd be talking about, if you're poking fun at this guy, if, you, if you're making videos and, you know, getting your jabs in, I mean... That's exactly what this tune, what this clown wants, what this rotten turnip wants. You know, he's pompous, he's he's built up his own shtick, he's got his own mud ready to sling, you know, I mean, he's he's a festering boil that just needs a good poppin'. And everybody should just turn their back on him, you know, and yet you got warring factions and all this shit happening. It's just ridiculous. Um... All I know is, if that kind of shit is going to continue, I mean, I will block people if people come after me and try to, uh, you know, bend my will or bend my opinion on, you know, who's good, who's bad, who's this, that, and the other thing. Well, they're all going to go away. You know, I'm just going to sit here, I'm going to sit back, relax, continue to do what I want to do, continue to rock it and talk about all the shit I love. And I know who my friends are. I treat people right, they treat me right back. They're in good company, I'm in good company, and anyone who wants to foul that can fuck off, in not so many words. And uh, this clown is, you know, he was one of the first to go. And I can only hope you guys who are watching this, who know full well what's going on, uh, will not be, you know, basically bent to this guy's pandering and this guy's ruse after ruse and manipulation game. I can only hope you determine for yourselves What's best for you? I mean, uh, you know, you be friends with the guy if you want to be. If you don't see him for the ass clown he is, that's fine with me. I mean, I'm not going to judge people. I'm not going to, you know, turn people away who want to be this guy's buddy and come to his rescue and everything like that. Because I, frankly, don't give a shit. I, I couldn't give two shits about all this unfolding crap, you know. Um, but I don't like people trying to involve me and uh, insinuate me in a thing that I'm not involved with or try to make me involved, which is what this rotten turnip was trying to do. And you know what? It ain't going to work, man. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to talk to my friends and have communication back and forth with like-minded people who just want to have a good time, have fun, and not be hateful and disdainful and manipulative and uh, emotional vampire and all these things that this rotten turnip is. And uh, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Wish you all the best in avoiding this rotten turnip and his uh, cancerous, disdainful hate and, and manipulation gaming. And yeah, otherwise, peace.